Okay, so what's up guys and it's been a really long time since I have made any kind of Bain TK tutorials. So with that being said, in this particular video, we're going to talk about a new effect which was shown in Bain TK's video which I call as the flip up effect. Now this effect has been made in DaVinci Resolve by some other YouTubers, I'll link them down below. But this particular video is only for Final Cut Pro users and if you guys want to, I can make a Premiere Pro version of it really soon as well. So if you guys like this kind of content and want to see more such tutorials then do make to subscribe, hit the notification button and comment down below. With that being said, this is Pixel Sammy and let's get started. So the first few things which you need to know whenever you are doing this in any kind of softwares out there is that you need to do masking, you need to freeze some of the frames and you need to rotate this particular image or this particular video in the 3D way. And with that being said, I'm going to jump right into Final Cut Pro and show you guys how this is done. Now, this is a bit of a complex effect in Final Cut Pro or in any other softwares out there. So if you guys don't understand this in one go, do make sure to play it back some more times so that you guys get comfortable with what you are doing. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and this is my basic timeline. This is a real estate shot. So first thing what you guys need to do is you need to freeze some of the frames with which you need to put the effect on. So say for this particular case, I'm going to freeze some of the first few frames. So I'm going to click on Shift plus H just like this. And I'm going to freeze some of the frames. Now the next thing which you need to do is you need to cut this particular frozen portion of the clip by using the blade tool. Now this is done. After that you need to set the anchor point. Anchor point is basically the center point from which the scale is going to scale down or scale up on. Just like this. As you can see if I scale up it is going to scale up as per the anchor point or scale down is going to be as per the anchor point. So this is the center portion and I'm going to change the anchor point to the lower portion of the clip just like this first i'm going to just change the clips direction to this particular area and change the anchor point y to minus 540 why minus 540 it is half of 1080p and then i'm going to change the position to minus 540 as well in this way as you can see i have changed the anchor point from the center portion of the clip to the bottom portion of the clip this is important this is what you need to do this is the key portion of the entire effect now if you click on scale up and down, you can see that if I click on scale Y, it is going to be scaled down as per that anchor point only. And from here, we can start with the basic keyframes. So go to any one of the frames which you want to in order to place the effect on. But before that, I'm going to duplicate this particular clip because we are going to mask some of the portions from which we can put the clip effect on. So after duplicating the clip, go to the effects panel, click on mask and drag the mask effect on the topmost clip just like this and then after that you need to put a rough mask it can be rough it can be exact as per you guys want in my case i'm going to do a rough one but in your case you can do a exact one too this is going to be the portion from which you can put the flip effect on now if you hide the lower layer just like this you can see this particular area now in this particular panel let me just hide this particular area so that you guys can see it properly. From this particular layer, go to the first few frames, go to the scale Y, set a keyframe and set the scale to 0. Scale Y to 0. Then go a few frames later and change the scale Y back to 100. And this is going to give the flip effect which we guys want. And then you can play with the video animation with the keyframes right here. You can increase the duration of the keyframes right here if you guys want to. And then here we are, we have got a bit of flip out effect. Now if I just unhide the lower layer, we can see the entire effect right here. But before this, what we need to do is you need to put the same effect on the lower clip as well. So from the top effect, I have just click on Ctrl C. And in the lower frozen clip, I have just click on Ctrl Shift V, which is going to paste all the effects on this particular clip as well. So we are basically technically doing the same effect on the lower clip as well. But in this particular scenario, I'm going to just change the video animation to a bit more slower than the previous one so that we can get a gradual effect like we can get a level effect from the first layer to the second layer. As you can see, it looks pretty good on its own right now. But what you can do is we can make more such layers in order to make this effect pop up even more. In this particular case, you can see two layers, but I'm going to make one more layer and divide the mask a bit more, just like this. 
maybe I'm going to just add a new mask because that is a bit more faster method than this particular technique. So I'm going to unhide this particular layer, draw another mask here and make another rough mask in the lower portion of the lip just like this. So we are dividing the clip into layers basically. And making this thing is pretty easy and it is pretty seamless too. And as we can see, we have already applied the previous effects already on this. And I'm going to increase the duration speed a bit more. So we can get three gradual layers on the same clip and get in a bit of flip out effect, which is similar to the one Bentike showed in his latest India video. Now the effect is pretty much done. Now you know to spice it up a bit more. All you can do is you can add some motion blurs to it. There are some motion blur plugins I have made, or you can just or you can just use the inbuilt motion blur plugin, which is already there in File Cap Pro. That is pretty much it. After adding some motion blur effects, this is what this particular effect looks like. It is so simple to use. It is very simple to make with proper sound effects. It is going to look really good and if you want to spice it up even more you can add a bit of luma fed effect to some of the layers of the clip to give a little bit more effect to the entire clip altogether so i hope you guys like this particular video and if you guys like this particular video then do make sure to subscribe hit that notification button comment down below and this is pixel sammy we'll be back with another video soon peace out